Well, local crews, what's up guys? Pastor Andrew here. I'm gonna be brief because I don't wanna interrupt. I want you to jump right back in to whatever you're doing. But hey, this Sunday was a challenge, right? Four qualities of a man of God. And I wanna read you a quote just to kind of set sail on the discussion. It was really the premise of the entire sermon. Unintentionally or intentionally, culture trains men from the time we are young boys to view women as a commodity. Come on, let me jog your memory. Went through the restaurant scenario. Come on, can we agree? That's not okay. Went through some commercials. Come on, that's not a hamburger we're talking about, right? We went through music. Some of the things women are referred to is not okay. So we talked about four qualities of a man of God. And just to press down on it a little bit more, these are four qualities of Jesus. And your crew host is going to go through this in detail, but let me talk about it for just a moment. The first one, confrontation. We talked about John 14, the woman at the well. Jesus had to go to Samaria. He had to go out of his way to confront this woman. And if he doesn't confront this woman, her life never changes. We made this statement, right? We talked about Paisley. She had her headphones on. Maybe she was in the street. Uh, the Lord doesn't hate you, but he might hate where you are. Confrontation is a good thing. Amen. Number two, we talked about compassion. We talked about John chapter 8, the woman caught in the act of adultery. And let me read a quote to you from the sermon. Compassion doesn't call you out of your sinful behavior. That's not compassion. That's cruelty. Going to be some great discussion on that. Number three was defender. Some areas you're going to go over today. Uh, our God wants to fight for you. He wants to defend you. And our last one was hope. Remember we told the story about, I don't know if it happens to you, but in the middle of the night, you get so thirsty. You're like, man, I'm in the Sahara Desert right now. And we kind of made the statement, if you get thirsty enough, you'll drink anything in the fridge, right? If you get hopeless enough, you'll latch on to anything. And there's areas in our life where we get hopeless. And I love what the Lord says when he shows up outside the tent. Go read it. Genesis 18. You're at crew. It's a great time to read it. But he shows up. Sarah's laughing at herself like there's no way that I can have a child. And this is what the Lord says. Is anything too hard for me? Wow, that's powerful right there. Is anything too hard for the Lord? I don't know your situation at crew, but I would just challenge you, whatever the situation is, ask yourself, is anything too hard for the Lord? I love you. Have a great crew. See you Sunday.